Hey everyone, it's Saturday the 22nd of June and it's 2.30 in the afternoon. Okay, today's video, it's a car boot haul video. <laughs> Mostly die cast because I have got quite a lot on the floor. There's a lot of die cast at Alsham car boot today. Um, I've actually picked up a lot of what I didn't have. So, uh, before we get into that, I did pick up a few other random bits as well. Not as much as I'd have liked, but I've got a few bits, including a barricade lamp and whatnot. So we'll have a look at those first, because, like I said, there's five. Five other items, that's what I got that wasn't die-cast related. And this is anything hidden in these bags that I've forgotten about, but I don't think so. So, one of the first things I got, I've actually got a pair of soft toys. I've got this TY Beanie Husky which I'm going to give to a friend of mine because he loves his Huskies. I've been looking for one of these for him for ages. It's a bit of an apology because you know, I've been a grumpy bastard for the last few days. <laughs> Only because I ran out of my um, antidepressant meds. Again, my fault. I didn't put the bloody order in um, soon enough so I ran out before it was ready. Anyway, I've got them now. I went and picked my prescription up this afternoon on my way back from uh, Alsham. So I've got them here and I've taken them, so all good. Um, yeah, I got that husky and then on top of the monitor at the minute, we also got this little squirrel here. I think we'll get Friends of the Earth or something. Eco Earth, it's got these tag. That fox always falls off. He does not like sitting up here. My random TY fox with the eyeballs that like to follow you. The same with my little skunk here as well. I've gotten from QD stores. My one of my favourite Pokemons, EV being the second one. Um, and I've got a centre part squirrel up here as well. And yes, they do frequently fall off, and even Mr. Skunky here keeps falling off of his perch. <laughs> right now also picked up a barricade lamp seems to be a regular thing lately doesn't it anyway here it is it's well should be a paraffin lamp but it's missing the um, burner and you can actually burn um, lamp oils and things in them as well um, but yeah so I paid just 12 quid for this which is pretty cheap See, no burner. Uh, I definitely have not got one like this one. Now, silver's not its original colour. That's been repainted. Um, and one of the giveaways is, I suspected it was yellow originally. And when I got home and I was having a look at it, I could see some yellow underneath here. And some couple of spots of yellow there. So... I'm guess, looking at it, I'd say this was painted quite some time ago and the damp has got to it again. The rust has started to come through the paint. If it weren't for that, I would have left it silver. I actually quite like it in silver, but I think, as it does need a good rub down anyway, and I don't like the amount of rust that is coming through, I'm going to restore it and put it back to yellow. It'll be the second one of these that I would have restored. I've got... A green doorman paraffin lamp up on my fridge. Don't know why I put them paraffin lamps up there. That's just where they've lived. Um, with white lenses. And uh, when I googled that particular lamp. They actually did them in two colours. With the um, clear lenses. Um, green and red. And I chose to do mine green. Because I've already got a couple of different red um, paraffin lamps. So yeah that one will go back to yellow. Also got six rolls of parcel tape. Uh, these were only a fiver for six, so basically a pound each plus one free. Buy five, get one free, which I didn't think was a bad deal. And they're quite sizable rolls as well. I've been to some like you know stationery shops and things where they sell them. They're like half the bloody size of these for the same price. So. 
as I've got some parcels in the kitchen to pack up and post on Monday, um, I needed some. I thought, well, I might as well get them here for that price. Here, as in the car boot. Um, it saves me going across to like QDs or somewhere and go and get them this afternoon. I just grabbed that. Uh, I also found a little beacon for four pounds. It's not a rotating beacon and it's not a Zenon strobe either. I thought it was a strobe. Nope. It's got a 21 watt light bulb in it. Just an ordinary indicator light bulb. Or a brake light bulb. A fog light bulb actually. So I can actually show you that running. Because it has got a 12 volt plug on the end of it. But I'll we'll grab that and a screwdriver and I put the plug on here and then I touch Ooh. you know considering that's not a bad lamp but I can see it's got a, another lens within this amber one which is sort of amplifying the light output so it's not a bad little beacon I did see a mini light bar there which was an LED light bar which was tempting because that's 15 quid but I wouldn't have gotten it on the moped I filled it up with what I've got here believe it or not and I'm not keen on LED bars anyway I prefer older stuff like this the older tech um, this is made by Britax as well, according to this sticker that just fell off, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I'm going to put that there. Yeah, I just prefer the older stuff. Not that I think LED lights are crap. Some amber LED beacons are utter crap. I hate them. They Just to me, you can barely see them and they're utterly pointless. Um... And yet, yeah, you get some really good ones. I've got some good LED beacons in my collection. Um, but I just find the other stuff more interesting because, you know, you can go out any day of the week and go and buy an LED lamp these days. You know? These, you can't get them brand new anymore. And I've just realised I've got three screws stuck to the bottom of it. <laughs> well, free screw. Right, the last thing was this. Um, another gamble really, you know, sold as seen, no charger with it. Um, I already know the screen is damaged. But this was 15 quid, it's got a Windows 8 COA on the bottom. Just notice that bezel is cracked, so I've got a feeling this may have been dropped on that corner or something dropped on it, because that's where the damaged screen is, it's here. I'm not going to see it in this light. If I tilt it back, it sort of starts here, goes <laughs> like that big old you know, black splotch, and a little bit here. But like I said, I don't know if it work, no charger, so I don't know if there's a hard drive or an SSD or RAM or anything in it. There could be, because I've looked under here, and all the screws for the panel are still present. And that doesn't mean anything, but... In my experience, if they're missing, you can guarantee that there is nothing in there. You know, someone's been in and ripped it all out beforehand. Actually, we could have a quick look because I've got the screwdriver here, so we might as well. One. Oh, good, the captive screw. No, no, they're not captive screws. So I've got a good mag magnetic screwdriver. Two and three. I just want to know what I've got in here, really, if anything. Uh, need a little flathead. Uh, not unless I can just pop it with this. Can I pop it with this? No. Let me just see if I've got a flathead. I've got tools on the floor where I threw them. Yep, yeah, here we go. I've got one. There we go. We have got a ram in it. No hard drive though, but we have got RAM. 
I could have got another older laptop which had a Windows XP COA on it for four quid. But the guy said it didn't power on. I thought, yeah, I don't really want something that old that don't power on. Right, so I was just looking at this. We've got that slot there, but there's no. No, you can't put an extra stick of RAM in there. You've only got this one. What have we got? It's a Samsung, and it's a four gigabyte stick. I tell you what, Samsung seems to be a popular one for uh, laptops. Uh, what's the speed of it? PC3L? It doesn't sound familiar to me. I've never heard of one with a PC3 and an L on it. Well, that's good. I'm going to put this cover back then. Because I'm not too worried. Uh, I'm not too worried about the hard drive at the minute because I don't know if it will power on. As long as it powers on and it will recognise a hard drive and whatnot, well, an SSD because I'm not going to go with a hard drive on this thing. Um, at least someone had the decency to put all the screws back when they took the drive out. But, you know, did they just want rid of this because the screen had broken and they'd got another one. Maybe they put the drive in another machine, you know, to save their data. Maybe that was the only reason they got rid of it, because the screen was damaged. Keyboard is all there. Buttons are all there, I mean. We have USB 3s on this. One USB 3, one USB 2, this side, I'm not sure what that is. Um, I think that's Ethernet. I'm not sure what that is upside end here either. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh. I thought I was going to have a charger for this, and I've just um, noticed I have a... Um, that is a weird looking charger. So... I could try to bodge something in there. If I can just figure out what is the voltage. Here's my thingy. I bought a better magnifying glass than this and I can't find it. Ah, 20 volts. Now, would it be possible to just like hook something up very temporarily? I'm going to assume it's sent a positive. Most modern stuff is. Look, what have we got on the other side? A DB drive, a USB 2, and a card reader, and a headphone jack. Oh, actually, that looks like a headset jack. It's just got like a microphone sim or a headphone symbol, I should say, with a microphone on it as well. That'd be interesting. Because I don't want to go forking out for a charger for this if it's totally dead. So I want to just try and see if I can poke like a couple of wires in there temporarily. Um, and just to see if it will turn on. If it will turn on and at least post and I can see it doing something then I might look into getting a proper charger for it going from there I can put this battery down here as well so that's going to be a job for later see if we can get that to do anything right I'm going to put that on the floor as well. This might take a while in the next bit because there is a lot of die cast here. I'm going to start with this bag actually because it's got the least in it. Um, I'm not going to put them in a box or anything because I do want to put them on here and photograph it as a wall for various Facebook groups and whatnot. 
So I picked this up for a quid. The Volkswagen Escarabajo Policia, 1975. Did they even have white bars like that in 1975? I just thought that was an interesting little Beatles, so I got it. I've just sold a number of models which I think were from this company or a similar company. They're a box like this on the plate. Well, there we go, the box is already open, so yeah, I've already sold a bunch of these on eBay. Uh, along with a job lot of three of those little corgis, it was the 2CV, the Volkswagen Beetle and the Morris. I've had um, like two job lots of those on eBay this year and they've both sold easily. Okay, so I've got my second one of these cranes, because this one's in bad condition, I think. Matchbox, uh, I'll find it. Matchbox Super Kings Hercules Mobile Crane. There's a copyright year on it. What does it say? Nineteen seventy-four. And I read that upside down as well. I still got the hook as well. I think my other one's actually got the hook on it. Okay. I couldn't remember if I actually had the um, security truck here or not. But it was a quid, so I thought I'd just take that risk. I'm pretty certain I haven't... Oh, it's got a bent wheel on the front as well. I didn't notice. Right. This one I got from the diecast guy, and this is going to need a new, at least one new tyre. Because it's all cracked up. The highway or the motorway maintenance van. Yeah, that tyre is completely shot that side. Actually, all four tyres are completely shot, so I might have to get some tyres for that from somewhere. Uh, and a matchbox that I've never seen before. This little Range Rover. First time I've seen it. Nineteen seventy-seven is the copyright year. I'm not sure what it's meant to be, but it's got a little amber beacon on the roof. If it had stickers, they've all worn off. What else have I got in here? Didn't find the trailer, but I found a cab. I weren't going to bother because I didn't have the trailer with it, but I thought that is actually quite nice on its own, regardless. So, if I can find a trailer somewhere, that would be nice. And I can, you know, put both together. Uh, what else have we got? Half the car boot field in here as well. Now I have found a number of these. I'm actually going to open this one. I didn't pay the five pound that's on them either. But I would have because they are mint. But I got three of these matchbox cars with the laser wheels. I right, said so the bags were marked at five pound, but that's not what he charged me. He charged me a bit less. I'm going to put that trailer to the side because the cab for that is in the thing. I've actually got a major restoration project. I've got the Ford Sierra here as well with the laser wheels. Unfortunately, you know, they've all worn off on this one. I'm not very laser-like. Oh, I can see a little bit on the wheels. Bit of a shame, but it's not one I had in the collection, so I bought it. Yeah, what else we got? Yeah, this one's not brilliant, and I think is that a Hot Wheels? 
yeah, US mail van. I think it was in slightly better condition, but hey ho. Uh, this is a Maisto Ford Explorer. This one's going to be a restoration project and it will go back to being red. It's a majorette Ford Capri. I've actually done a couple of these already. Or did, no, I did one which was originally an orange one with the black vinyl roof. Um, which I think is actually up on the shelf in the bedroom. And we've got this Corgi Mercedes Benz with the window. But I've just realised the window is damaged. But most of it is there, which is more than my other one. So that's why I nabbed it. I've got another one of these just because it's got a better window on it. So I'm pretty certain my other one's got a um, split window, it's split sort of somewhere in the middle on the top there. Uh, I've actually got another one of these. I don't know if these were flatbeds originally, but uh, that one is. <laughs> uh, is that Corgi? No, that's a Matchbox Ford Thunderbird, but again, it's... Uh, Missing the windshield. But, uh, it's not one that I I had in the collection. Now we've got this lot. Ooh. And this one was actually quite heavy to lug about the car boot. <laughs> There's one of the other decent matchbox laser wheels in the bag. So hard to come across these. I'm surprised he let them go for a less than the price tag. We've got the Porsche with the laser wheels. Um, there's one more and I can't find it at the minute. And was this one. I think it's a Hot Wheels but that was just in a box wrapped like that. I'm pretty certain it's a Hot Wheels. Thunder wrapped. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's an older Hot Wheels. It doesn't say what the vehicle is. I'm sure someone out there might recognise it. It's got that nice sort of decal on the roof as well. And we've got another matchbox trailer. It's missing the doors. But overall, I'm pretty certain this is in better condition than my other one, so I may steal the doors off the other one and put it on here. I think that other one's got the doors. There's another nice older Hot Wheels. Nice Corvette. A few marks on it, but it's still nice. I'm just going to pick them out here at random. So we've got Matchbox. Uh, I don't know what the truck is. Ford pickup. That's all it says. The uh, super fast wheels and the plastic front and a green base. I don't think my other one's got the green base. But it's the first one I've come across, even though the paintwork is a bit rough and the paint on the base is a bit rough, it's the first one I've come across with a complete undamaged white plastic front. I've come across so many where it's either chipped and broken, like on one corner, both corners, whatever, or missing completely. So, yeah, I thought I'd grab that one for those reasons. I'm sure this is meant to have something on the back. But I quite like it as a, just a simple plain Jane truck like that. And what else have I got in here? Now, the car boots I go to, it's not often I'd come across a convoy. This one's a little bit rough. I've got a door missing off the trailer, but I'm not that fussy, as you've probably been able to tell, I'm not that fussy. I will buy it, and if in the future I come across something that's in better condition, then I will just swap them around. That's how I run my collection. A 
I mean, I know for a fact I've already got this in the collection. Difference is, this one's mint. And I think it's a Nissan. <laughs> now let's think about it. The other one's a Porsche. Or a Datsun. 2AE ZX. And that would have been before they adopted the Nissan name then. Okay, Dewhurst Butchers. We used to have a Dewhurst Butchers here in town. That's a Model A van that I didn't have, I don't think. I don't recognise this one, because I'm pretty certain that's not one I had in my collection. And we've got a couple of Matchbox Convoy cabs. I've already got this one, but again, this one's in way better condition. I think the other one's actually got bumpers chipped, because these do like to chip the bumpers and the exhaust bits like to break off you know the pipes on the top there like to break off we've got a long nose there I do like these cab overs I don't know what trailer that's meant to go with it's got 45 on the cab and we've got a major act Toyota pickup yeah, I've got another one of these in the collection, but I like them. Sometimes, if I like a casting, I will buy a hundred of them. <laughs> I was going to say a couple of them, but that would actually be a lie. <laughs> uh, Matchbox a Thunderbird. In red. With windshield. Tempting to swap it with the other one. <laughs> And what have we got here? Nice big pickup truck. From Matchbox. And I did find a box full of uh, some Hot Wheels, so I grabbed whatever I could that I didn't have in the collection. Or a variation of a car that I didn't have, like this um, wagon. I have got it, just not in this colour. Like, um, was that a Datsun wagon or something? Yeah, 71 Datsun. Uh, 510 wagon. Really? That's 71? I'd have said that was 1980s. That does not look like, you know, an early 1970s wagon. Heck, were Japanese ahead of their time? I don't know, that just looks a lot more modern to me. And we've got a Thunderbird. Uh, there's another lovely little Hot Wheels that I found, another older one. Again, it doesn't say what it is. Seems like this era of Hot Wheels never printed on the base what they were. Hot Wheels Mattel 1982. It's like the Corvette doesn't have Corvette on the bottom. So as I'm not good with this sort of era of American vehicles I have no idea what this is. My guess... I'm sort of stuck between Ford and Chevy. It's going to be one of them two isn't it? I don't think it'd be anything else. But then again I could be wrong. Like I said I'm, I'm crap at identifying this era of car but I like it lovely split screen front and rear split screen windows it's not a bad shape for old hot wheels uh, the Renault Turbo now I did get one of these the other day well, I say the other day, a few, a couple of weeks ago now, when I got a box of die cast that I found on Marketplace. But, Renault 11 is what I was trying to find. This one's in way better condition. I think I've now got three of these, and this is in the best condition out of all three. Now what we got? It's got a bit of a flat window, is that a Camaro? It looks like a Camaro convertible. I will check the base and we'll have a look. Hang on. 
Oh, I thought it was Hot Wheels, it's Matchbox. Yep, 69 Camaro SS. 396. I do like that Matchbox puts the uh, scale on the bottom of the clock. What has it actually got on it? I've not looked. Uh, is that meant to be a, I think that's meant to be a ghost. Yep. Oh, is that like a Halloween themed one or something? Maybe. Oh, there's the other flatbed trailer. I know you can get... Some of these had like a couple of containers on them. Probably what they were used for. Another major at uh, Chevy Corvette. The big wide wheels. Got a few of these that Majorette did. I've got an Escort somewhere. Oh, actually, the Escort no longer has the wide wheels on because I couldn't find a replacement pair, so I stuck ordinary wheels on it. Which looks just as nice, actually. We've got this. It's missing the cargo, which I think we No, I don't think this had the rocket. I think it's had something else on it. The NASA one had the rocket. That's not in bad shape. I've got the tipper trailer. One of them mini little lorry things that Matchbox did. I've got one in blue and I've got the tank of one of the tank versions. Ah, here's the one other one with the laser wheel. I'll look at that in a second. Um, but I didn't have the silver tipper. And I don't know what cab actually goes to that. Anyway, here's the other um, laser wheels. It's a NASCAR. It's never a big thing over here. We, we have a lot of rallying, F1. And we're not thinking about banger racing. Chevy Pro Stocker. Not quite mint. Near mint. Very near mint. Would be the way I'll describe that. Because I've just seen a few very light small marks on a couple of these wheel arches. These two, I think these ones are fine. Yeah. There's just a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little mark up there under the window. And I found another corgi that I didn't have. Safari Rally. I'm guessing as this has got BP on it, this might have been a BP promotional vehicle. A little promotional toy. Probably in partnership with Land Rover as that's written on the bonnet as well. And that's just my theory as it's got two big brand names stamped on it like that that's made by Corgi. It could have been just a partnership between all three. Who knows? If you know, please let me know in the comments. Now, as I was saying earlier, if I find castings that I really like, I would buy hundreds of them. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not a lie. Because I have got a few of these. However, they did do a few variations of this, and this one is actually in extremely good condition compared to the other ones. It's in very nice condition, actually. Um, yeah, not so much for the Ford LTD. That was their more common version of this, and I've got several of these, all in roughly the same condition. I've got a couple of, like, near mint ones. And a couple of rough ones, but other than that, most of them are in sort of same condition as that one. Now here's another Majorette. I can't remember what the car is. Can you even say what it is on this one? Morgan. French company that made it, made the model, but it's a British car. And is this a Majorette? I can't see Majorette on it, but it's got made in France. 
Yeah, that's a major app because I've just looked at it. You see Air France. I don't know if I actually have an Air France one of these. I can't remember. Now I've got one with a red top. You now this half of it is red and the bottom half is white. But I can't remember what's on it. What we got? Ooh, Cadbury's Mini Egg Fergon Van. I want to know what Fergon is, or Fergon, or however it's pronounced. Now, they had two of these, but I picked this one mainly because the other one, the bottom part of this, was all falling off. Yep, Ma Major at Fergon Van. Or Forgan. Because it's actually um, spelt the same way we would have our four, you know, the number four. So it could be a Forgan. I don't know. The front of it reminds me of like a Chevy or a GMC or something like that. Then on that angle, it looks like the nose is too long for such a van. So if anyone actually knows what a Forgan, Forgon, Forgan, Fergan, however you pronounce it, I'm sorry to any French viewers if I'm butchering that. Um, and if you know the pronunciation, please let me know what it is. <laughs> if you actually know what the van actually is, and please let me know as well. Because uh, Major Act did a few variations of that. Right, next one. I'm just picking these out here at random. Got a little Tamika. I am on the hunt for Tamikas, but they are quite expensive. Because um, I think they're primarily for the um, Japanese market. Oh, this has got copyright 1978 on it. Just a quick recap. I know I've mentioned it before, but Tamika is um, part of Tomi. And they do make some lovely little uh, cars. What is this? It's a Di Tomoso. Pantera. GTS, I think. Oh, I'll be glad when I get my reading glasses. That might actually help. Although that last letter really is not clear on that base. Okay, I've got another one of these. I think it's slightly better than the other one I've got. In this colour. I did um, a few of these in different colour variations. Model A's, I think. Yeah, the Model A for what the van is based on. Another Ford T Bird. Much newer one. Oh, that's a Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels Police Department. Dodge. Now that I've got it home, I think I may have that one. This interests me because I didn't have any gla Well, my glasses weren't picking it up. But I couldn't see what the brand was. And actually, now that I've got it home and I've got my glasses off, I can actually see what it is. It's a Tamika. A little Tamika bus. Uh, the, the Fuji Semi Decker Japan Airport Bus Service. Oh, it's got some Japanese writing on it as well. Nice. Actually, a nice looking bus. I actually really like that. That's another nice find. I think I have got one of these Texaco Sierras from Matchbox. If I have, that could be a uh, one for the Ebays. I'm not sure. I don't, no, this isn't 176 scale, but it was a nice little truck. That's why I got it. And believe it or not, it's just a pound. Lido. Hmm. 
Yes, yeah, just the Lido days gone. Siddle C. Cook, I think. Transport contractor. It's a scandal. I was pretty certain I knew what it was. I just couldn't remember the name. Yeah, it's got scandal written on the front. Now, if I could find other days gone like this, I would actually be interested in adding them to the collection because I like these. It's like the sort of 1920s and 30s stuff that they did. I'm one, you know, I'm not a very big fan of that sort of stuff. And I couldn't resist a couple of buses. These came from the same seller as well. Leyland PD2. They're both Leyland PD2s. Can't read the base the red because of the bloody colour. I was just trying to see if it had like a scale or a um, a company on it, but I can't see them. They look very close to 176 though. I'll have to compare them with my other ones just to double check. Buses, not really my cup of tea, but every once in a while I see something I actually like. So, and they were just a pound each. Actually, got quite a lot from that guy. I can't remember what else I got from him. Um, got very nice super gas tankers. Like probably my fourth one. Got a couple of rough ones there, but I'm sure I got a spare cab that I could put with that. Perhaps eBay that one. I've got Corgi Bugs Bunny. A little bit rough. You ought to see the price that mint ones of these go for then. It's a decent sum. <laughs> they did Tom and Jerry, they did all sorts. Right, what's this one? That's Matchbox Police. Now, I couldn't see who make, made this one. Let me just have a quick look. Oh, it's Tough Tots from Lone Star. But I actually quite liked it, and I know that style of cab. And I can't think what the truck is. But it's still got a skip. So for any Americans uh, watching, this is what we call skip. You know, it's basically a dumpster that you can hire, they, you know, the company comes along, they drop it off, you fill it up with your junk and they come and pick it up. It's actually quite expensive these days. And obviously, the bigger the skip, uh, the more it's going to cost. And it also depends on what you're going to fill it with. I mean, I think if you want to fill it with just scrap, it probably wouldn't cost you anywhere. Um near as much as say one full of you know general waste or something like that you know they would have to just put in landfill um, you know well I've got to take the time to tip out and then sort back at the yard didn't get that many large scale models this time did I got that one which is it looks like a Datsun I think it might be missing headlights, unfortunately. Oh, 1974. That's in 240Z. Which was in slightly better condition, but never mind. It's another one I didn't have for the collection. Here's another casting that I can, can't often resist. These old, uh, I think they're based on a Ford. But it's got both rear doors. It's very hard to find these with both doors attached. That's pretty much the only reason I bought another one of those. Here's some more Hot Wheels that I found. That's blue, that's a Chevy truck. I'd love a truck like this, not necessarily a, a slammed one like this. No more customised, I'd, I'd be happy with a bog standard Chevy truck like this. Or Ford. I'm not fast. 
we've got this wagon, and I can't remember what it is, but it's got Beach Patrol written on it and Rescue. That's a version that I've not seen before until today. Let's just have a look. Made in Indonesia, Hot Wheels, bloody blah, 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 blah. No, it does not say. It's got 2012 Mattel written on it. I know what this wagon is. I know I know what it is. I just can't think of the name. So if anyone does know what it is, please let me know in the comments. Notice that. I also didn't notice that's bad, um, that someone's done their own paint job on this. Um, not a bad paint job, in fair. Doesn't mean it's all worn off now, but it wasn't a bad one. Uh, I can't remember what they call that now. Is that like a Mer Hill digger or something? Wheel bloater. That's an Aveling Barford. It's meant to be like a turquoise sort of bluey green colour originally. But my other one of these, the um, plastic hydraulics in here, you know, the rams are a bit... Uh, um, but they're okay on this one, so maybe I could restore one of them. We've got the steering wheel missing on it. But again, it was a quid, so... Getting through these slowly. Another majorette. And drove oh, we got written on it. Oh, it's a shell one. Paris Dakar Rally. Telefunken. That's not a name that I've heard for a while. Showing my age as well. <laughs> we got this. Now I've got a few of the Matchbox train stuff, but not much of the flatbeds. And definitely not the cargoes that go on top of them, so I wouldn't mind trying to find those. Uh, another wagon. That's a Chevelle wagon. Just a version of it that I didn't have. Uh, and this wasn't the only one of these trucks that I found. It is a Ford F1, 1941. Yeah, the other one I found was actually quite rough. And this is the first one out of the two I found, thankfully. Nice little truck. And we've got another, whoops, matchbox cab over. Oh, that one's actually got both the exhaust pipes on it, and they haven't snapped off. Oh, I've got a few bits here from the diecast guy as well. Did I put anything out here already from the diecast guy? Oh yeah, the motorway services um, van, which is dinky. Also got this little Corgi Bedford van. Small vehicles. I found one, which is a majorette. It's just a couple of quid. Two pounds, and that. Oh, is it? Oh, a Fiat One Two Seven. Sort of car that I would actually drive if I actually had a driver's license. <laughs> I don't have one, so I can't. Well, I could, just not legally. And here's another cab over. Oh, that one's lost both its exhaust pipes. That doesn't really bother me. But for some reason the chip bumpers do, and this one doesn't have them, so I'm fine with that. And because I like these and can't resist these either, we've got a little Volkswagen from Matchbox. Which I'm going to leave as is. I've restored like one, two of these. There's a couple more that I wanted to restore, and I did like a custom paint job on them as well. But this one I'm going to leave as it is, because I think that's... Uh, in good enough condition to be left as is. The others were quite rough. Oh, here's the other one. I couldn't see the base. It doesn't say what it is.
I'm going to guess Ford. Now I'm trying to add these older Hot Wheels to my collection. The only problem is, especially if you want mint ones, they're expensive. Um, doesn't necessarily mean this. that's when this was released, that's just when the copyright started. It could be like a 1980s release for all I know, or a later 1970s release, I don't know. Um, I actually haven't seen any videos from this YouTube channel for a while, it's called WTF, or WT4. Um, and he has a huge basement, bigger than my whole flat, and it is just stocked floor to ceiling on most walls of old Hot Wheels. And he's got some Matchbox and other die cast, but he loves collecting the Hot Wheels. And he has spent literally hundreds and hundreds of dollars on one. He is, I would actually consider him, you know, like a hardcore, full-on collector. He's got a lovely collection. I like I said, I've not seen any videos from his channel for a while now. Um, I'm going to have to go and have a look and see if I can get some updates. We've got a Matchbox. Is that a Pagani or something? No, nope, way off. It's a Jaguar. <laughs> Whoops. We are getting there, guys. There's not that much left in here. We've got another one with the um, laser wheels. It's not in bad condition. It's not the greatest. Ferrari Testarossa. Not my favourite Ferrari. My favourite is actually the 1980s, I think it came out in the 1980s, F40. Another Corgi van that I didn't have. <laughs> I love how they just put US van on the bottom. Not American van, nothing like that, just US van. No, not GMC, not Ford, not Chevy or anything like that, not Dodge, just a US van. <laughs> but it was one of those castings that Corgi did freaking hundreds of. And then all they did is change the colour and put a different sticker on it. But that's the uh, Hertz van rental one. I think that's van rental isn't it? If I remember right. I think Hertz still exists as well. Yep, yeah, truck rental. Local one what? What does it mean local and one? Well I know what local means but what does the one way bit of it means. I mean, no idea. There's another matchbox. Dodge Caravan. That's the sort of vehicle that I would have bought as well to pootle about in if I was American. You know what, I just like dull and boring things, including vehicles. Um, a little matchbox like <laughs> monster jeep but again I didn't have it I'm trying to read it I've got it upside down yeah this is 4x4 jeep I like it even though it has got the ridiculously big wheels on it I like it I know this one's got broken back wheels, but I believe that's a Corgi, but again, I couldn't... Yeah, a Corgi dump truck. It's not one I had in my collection. And I've got Corgi uh, wheel loaders and all sorts of other things, but not this dumper. Cement trucks, refuse trucks. Now, this isn't the best quality model in the world but I did like the look of the cab and I was just making up because it was three for a quid. I can't remember what the other ones were. I think I spent three quid. I can't remember what I got with that one. Uh, I think that's a matchbox. Is It's got ripper on the side. I don't know what the car is though.
Oh, it's a BMW. I think it says 630i. And really hard to read it on that base, and it's not because of my eyes, it's because it looks like it's all just moulded into one word. You know, I've not seen that before, so... I grabbed it. And I made a bit of a boo-boo here, because I've already got that. But again, I think I was just trying to make up the numbers to try and, you know, get the deal, as it were. Another little majorette Mercedes, which I'll probably do a little resto on. The paint's rough, but it has got the windshield there. That one I got from the diecast guy. That was in his box of other stuff. We've got a little Audi Quattro here. Really don't know why I bought that one, because I have got one in just as nice condition as that. Now I've got two. Couldn't resist at least... There was two of these, and I couldn't resist at least one. Little Jurassic Park Jeep. Uh, like a little generator transport truck. I know back in the day you could get sets with trucks like this and they did all sorts. I'm surprised there's still some around actually. They were like three quid for the set, you'd get like four or five vehicles in it. They did like airport sets, construction sets, emergency vehicle sets. Uh, got an old matchbox uh, camper van that's had a new paint job. It is missing a door. Unfortunately, if I could find that door, then I could actually restore this back to its original colour. Although there's no glass in the window, so it wouldn't need a whole new set of, or a whole new glass piece in it. Also we've got another older Hot Wheels, which I think I might already have. Yeah, and as per with these older ones, these from the 70s, they haven't got the vehicle name on it. That, not that we'd need it, you know, it's a Porsche 911. One of my favourite style of Porsche. I know, I always say I don't like um, the supercars and sports cars, but there is the odd couple that I do like. That particular Porsche and the Ferrari F40 are pretty much the only two. And this is a Porsche. 911 GT2 from Hot Wheels in a colour I didn't have. I've got it in blue. I'm pretty certain I don't have it in orange. Little major X truck. Really there. Matchbox tractor. Hit the space bar on the keyboard and trigger the video. And you've got lots of junk in the bottom of that. Right, three more. So I've got a ma major Unibog, which is quite unusual because it's got forks on the front. <laughs> Never seen this one before. I've got major Unimog, Unimogs, not mugs, uh, but they don't have anything attached to the front. I don't know if they've actually, if it's for or not for what, but yeah, I, I saw that in the box. I was like, I've got to have that because I've never seen one with the forks on it. Uh, and I've got another, I've got quite a few major heads today. I've just realised that. Uh, this is missing the extension out the ladder, but it is the uh, American pumper truck. It's all got written on the bottom, pumper. Or Pompier. I just got it in French. Um, I, I think that's the scale, 1 to 100. Uh, what's I got? Emergency fire. Yeah, the other one I've got has got NYC on it. And I've got another one which is just plain red, but I didn't have this one. The last one is another Laser Wheels one. Saab 9000 Turbo. Again, in superb condition, but in good condition. 
think I've actually only got one out of all the ones I bought where the wheels are just white mostly. You know, where the the CD, it looked like CDs, I think that was what they were supposed to look like. Or a laser disc, which is another 80s uh, audio invention, audio format. I actually quite like that one. I wouldn't mind trying to find one in mint condition of that. Mind you, that is in good enough condition for me. Right. That is the haul. That was everything. That was quite a, <laughs> quite a large haul from the car boot. And no, with this sort of weight in that top box on that leeway ped, it doesn't affect its handling. I thought it would. Um, I mean, obviously the box and the bike does have a weight limit. I think it's like... I can't remember what it is now. I'll have to look it up again. Um, I don't remember showing you this one. A little Mercedes from Matchbox. Why are you laying like that on the floor, Snow? I just looked down. Just to show you. Where is she? She's going to move because she always moves when I get the camera on her. No, she didn't move. That makes a change. Oh, pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> she did roll. But she didn't actually get up and move. Alright. Like I said, that is it. And that's the haul. Yeah, you know, like I said, I couldn't find anything else I wanted to, other than diecast. <laughs> um, there's that bit of wire I was looking for. Looking for. I was looking for that. I'll try again. That's the bit of wire I was looking for earlier. Right, I don't think I'm going to be able to arrange this on my desk to get a photo of it. I think I've got too much. <laughs> um, I'll think about that off camera. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. You know, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Um, and uh, oh, maybe consider subscribing, totally free, helps you keep up to date with all the videos I post and whatnot. And uh, uh, video description down below, I will put links to my other two YouTube channels, my um, Twitch channel and my Discord server, so feel free to check those out as well. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.